Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar has been on a tear, but it's now on pace to snap an eight-week winning streak. The incoming Trump administration is promising big changes, but what will that actually mean for the longer-term trajectory of our greenback, the reserve currency of the world? Our next guest has thoughts on how we got here and where we are headed. So joining us now is Tom Fitzpatrick. He's the managing director of Global Market Insights at R.J. O'Brien and Associates, big broker out in the Midwest. Tom, thank you for joining us here. Let's talk about the greenback. We all have a vested interest as Americans in seeing the dollar remain the strongest reserve currency out there. Is there hope for the dollar? There absolutely is, Dom, and, and thanks for having me. And, and obviously, you know, from a reserve currency status, there is nothing really to challenge the dollar at this point in time. But I think as we sit here right here today, we've had a really good move up in the dollar, which has been driven by a number of factors, including the talk about tariffs, uh, the talk about the deficit, um, and also, in particular, the feedback loop of people talking about a Fed going on pause, while at the same time, you know, an ECB may be going 50 basis points. Uh, and that resulted in a very good widening in the interest rate differential for the U.S. against Europe and other places. And it sent the dollar pretty much to the targets that were in place um, in terms of both dollar yen and euro dollar as well as the dollar index. But in the near term, a lot of those factors have changed a little bit. The tariff dynamic is beginning to look like it may be less stressful than it was originally looking. Um, we have a situation where Scott Besson is obviously the nominee in terms of Treasury Secretary, uh, is considered a little bit more uh, budget hawkish in terms of, of looking for the deficit. But in particular, what we have seen is after a, a very big run in yields, as well as the run in the dollar, and a widening in those differentials, you know, that has come to at least a pause, and we've seen yields back up, we've seen differentials back up. Uh, and that's why the dollar, as we move into Thanksgiving, has also managed to back up and lose some ground. All right. So what's the forecast and how exactly would you look at it, Tom? How exactly would you play this thing? And is the trajectory medium to longer term still positive or negative for the U.S. dollar? I would say that the trajectory is still positive. I would be cautious right now and into December for a couple of reasons. Number one, we really do need to see that yield dynamic reappear. Um, and we need to, to see it start to push back up again. We need to see those differentials widen out again. And I think that can come in terms of the relative economic backdrop and the relative policy backdrops. There was no scare, as Rick Santelli said, in terms of the inflation numbers today. So the market is still on pace to believe that the Fed may actually ease in December. Uh, and if you look at the seasonals, the reality is for seven years in a row, the dollar index has actually fallen in December, on average in excess of 1.5%. So I think you've still got to be fairly careful in the short term in terms of this dollar trade, and, and particularly looking at the fixed income side of the equation. But on a more medium-term basis, this U.S. economy is going to get more stimulus. It's going to get more deregulatory environment. And it's almost certain that the Fed, even if it does not pause in December, is going to get more cautious on policy, while at the same time, somewhere like Europe is actually getting more aggressive in terms of its easing policy. So I think that backdrop should see a reemergence of dollar strength. But there might be a danger we have to wait till we get into the new year before we really see that start to materialize with any gusto. All right. The strong dollar policy may still be in effect. Tom Fitzpatrick, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Happy Thanksgiving, sir.